Good morning, my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean. And it was so good to see all of your comments on my video yesterday. And I also want to say I was very touched by the response that I got yesterday from my videos. I thought y'all done forgot about me, to be honest with you. But I love all of y'all. And thank you so much for sticking around, bearing with me, and not giving up on me. And it's going to take me a while to get to answer all your comments, but I'll get to it sooner or later, I promise. Anyway, I wanted to just kind of make a little bit of an intro to the video I'm going to upload today. I'm going to show y'all how I saved some money on making ephemera and uh, making copies of scrapbook paper and the only thing in this video that I didn't show y'all were the ink to my printer now I'll tell y'all all about the printer in my video and at the end of this video I'm going to um, put a picture of the actual printer that I use but the ink that comes from my printer comes in these bottles and as you can see on the top of these bottles it's very each one has a different kind of little hook and shape in there so it only fits in the right slot that's for that color so it's you can't put the wrong color in the wrong slot because like the black it's got notches here and here and the red had the one notch on the one side. They're all different. But anyway, this is the kind of ink that I get from my printer. It comes in these bottles. And I have had two sets of these bottles for the last two and a half years. And a set of these bottles range from $28 to $38. So $40 max. And you've got, I think... This says 127 milliliters, and this one is 70 milliliters. The color comes in smaller bottles. It doesn't say ounces, <laughs> and I don't convert metric. I'm old school. So, anyway, I wanted to share that with you real quick so you'll understand what I'm talking about when I tell you about the printer. So, y'all enjoy the video I'm about to show you, and y'all have a crafty day. I'll see you real soon. Now on to the video. Today, I have come with a project share for everyone. And I want to kind of show y'all something in the process of showing you what I made. Because I have gotten where I don't exactly use the paper that I buy. I copy it and use the copies to make stuff with and that way well like if it comes with two sheets of the same pattern I'll use one sheet but keep one sheet to make copies with so this is a kit that I got called boho vibes and I got it from Michaels and they had paper studio on um, 50% off so it was like 450 and I got this I don't know what it was about this kit, but I love it. I love the colors in it. I love the patterns in it. And I'm going to show you what all comes with it. Of course, it comes with um, 10 sheets of paper, two of each pattern, five different patterns. It comes with some alpha stickers. It comes with these stickers right here on um, this sticker sheet. And let me give you all a better picture of that because I know the glare is going to get me here but I thought this was such a pretty collection and I wanted to make some stuff out of it and it come with an ephemera kit too which is some frames come with three frames but the frames are bigger than what I would actually use um so that's another reason why I make copies of it, because I can resize it, and then I can also print as many as I want. And I found that if I just put it on the copy machine and copy it, 
I get a better true to color print than if I were to scan it in and then print it. Because I don't know why, but when you scan it in, the colors don't come out the same. So I just lay it on my copier and copy it. It's got some arrows. I might need a white sheet of paper. Let me see. Let me use this folder here. Comes with some arrows, comes with some florals, some hearts, a little TP, some more florals. Let me put this over here like this. And lay this where you can see it. Um, this is actually um, the globe and the flowers make up the different continents. Another heart with a different pattern. Some dream catchers, one with a pink background, one with white, another TP. And feathers, more arrows, an actual globe on a stand. A medallion and another flower collage like and antlers with flowers and another feather and I know I'm trying I've got to get new light bulbs I have LED light bulbs and after you use them for a while they go kind of dim and I think that's what's happening with this but anyway, this is the different ephemera pieces that come with it. Now, I took a, and copied them on the copier, but what I did is I copied it on photo paper. I went to the thrift store sometime back, and they had like a thick stack like this of copy paper, just with a rubber band around it, and had a dollar on it. So I bought it. And I thought, if nothing else, I can put it, you know, use it to double my stuff before I cut it out, and it would be extra thick. But it actually prints pretty good, because I'm going to show y'all. Okay, this is the one that actually come with the kit. This is the one I copied. And the only difference is I didn't cut right on the line, because when you copy pieces that are already cut out it leaves a line around where the edges are and uh, a little piece was hanging off there but um I didn't cut exactly on it because I'll ink it and I'll give you an example um this is the TP y'all can see that this is one that I copied and left the white edge and see there's really not a lot of difference I can lighten it up on my printer or darken it and sometimes I do that but what I did on I made one smaller but I I fussy cut them out because I like fussy cutting and I left the white edge but I then distressed it around the edges with some pink distress oxide I believe it's the raspberry color but that's why I leave the little white part going around the edge because I'll come back with distress ink and distress it. But if there wasn't a white line around it, you really can't tell the difference. Mine might be a little bit shinier, but I do have some that I printed on regular cardstock too. But, you know, here's the heart. Now, I didn't leave a white edge around the heart. This is the one I printed. This is the one that was in the pack. Can y'all see? And before y'all ask me, I will tell you, I use a Epson Workforce 4750 with Echo Tanks. And these are tanks built into the printer that you buy bottles of liquid ink and they got a special nozzle on it and you just turn it upside down, it fits in there just right. And I fill up my tanks and when I fill them up, they last, they last me over a year. And I print a lot, y'all. I have printed up to 300 sheets a day at times, especially copying 
the scrapbook paper and stuff. But my the whole set of ink to get one of each color and a big double size black is $28. So my ink runs me $28 a year, which is way cheaper than the HP deal that you pay $10 a month and they send it when you're running out because that ends up being $120 a year. And if you print more than $300 a month, then you have to pay more. So I like the Epson workforce and the Echo Tanks. And I think it comes out a whole lot cheaper. I love the print and I'm getting ready to show y'all some really good examples of that here in just a second. I also laid the sticker sheet down. Now, hey, let me take it out of the pack so the glare is up there. And I, while I like this sticker sheet for the things I wanted to use it for, it was really too big. So what I did, and see this is flimsy sticker paper. See how it bends? It's just regular sticker paper. I took and laid it down and I copied it and then I resized it. I copied it at 50%. Well, some of them I think I copied at 75%. But as you can see, I printed it smaller for what I wanted it for. That's a duplicate. This goes down here. This is wild. This is the arrow. But there's not a whole lot of difference, y'all. It's not enough difference to where, you know, it's not worth it. Oh, there. I should have had these laid out like it was, but I'm trying to give y'all an idea of how close they are. And these I didn't, most of them I didn't leave a white outline but I printed a bunch of them, so I have to go through there. Um, but I don't know if you can see how close these are to the originals, but let me give you a good example. Here's the Good Vibes Only with the reindeer antlers. Here's the one I printed and cut out. And now see, now once I print it out, and I put mine on double chipboard or cardstock. I use the 120 pound cardstock I get from Walmart with 250 sheets in a ring. And I just doubled it. I put one sheet down, I glued it, the print on top of it, and then I cut it out after I do that. But I do it that way. And um, see, I resized this one, Wild and Free. If my hands will work right today. But I've got more light on that side, so. <laughs> Let's see, there is not a lot of difference. Anyway, let me show you some paper real quick, then I'm gonna show you what I made with it. But see, that way you can resize it, you can, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. All right, the paper, this is the paper that come with the kit. It is not double-sided, it is flimsy paper. Let me show you the paper that I printed. I'm sorry, I should have had this ready and I just didn't. This is the one I printed. Can y'all tell the difference? And the way you can tell this is the one I printed is because I made mine double-sided and I put it on cardstock. It's not on paper. See, paper, cardstock. But when you lay them down side by side, you cannot tell. I just, and this way I don't have to use the paper and worry about, oh, I'm gonna have to buy that again because I really like that collection. Here's the next one that come with the kit. And now I can't print 12 by 12s. That's the only downfall to it. I can't print 12 by 12s, but the stuff I'm making, 
I really don't need the 12 by 12s. Can y'all tell a difference in this? So, I mean, if y'all are looking for a way to save money and not buy your favorite collections over and over, this is a very economical way to do that. Now, I didn't plan on taking that long to show y'all all that. I don't know. I might better. I think I will. I think I'm going to do another video showing you what I made out of it. Because I made several things that I want to share with you. So, um, I'm going to go. But I'm going to come back with another video showing you what I made. So, y'all stay tuned. Have a crafty day. And we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.